Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the approximation torque equation of three phase induction motor. So, what is the importance of the torque? You know that whenever we are giving a three phase supply to the induction motor, then the rotor will have the rotation. Rotor will get the rotation. So, this is the rotor this rotor will get the rotation this point is the rotor and we are giving the three phase supply and the rotor will rotates with some force the twisting force is known as the torque generally in rotational systems we represents with the torque torque t okay normal linear systems it is represents with the force so linear systems that means a moving object it will be applied on force a rotating object the applied force is nothing but the torque okay so here generally you know that the general equation the relation between the whenever the torque is applied on the torque is applied on the this rotor the rotor rotates with the speed the rotor rotates with some speed okay so you know we have some relation that relation is power equal to torque into speed power power in watts torque and speed is in radian per second this is the general equation the relation between the power torque speed here we can tell that in k in three phase induction motor we can make this relation is like this that is the gross mechanical power developed equal the torque the gross torque r into speed of the rotor wr this pgd is gross mechanical developed on the rotor this is the gross torque this is the rotor speed from this we can write the torque value is torque value is like this the gross mechanical power developed by the speed this is the gross torque this is the gross torque okay from this we can write the air gap torque or electromagnetic torque so we can convert into the air gap torque that is so air gap r electromagnetic torque why it is electromagnetic torque in the air gap only we have the when three phase supply is given the electromagnetic flux will be developed the electromagnetic flux will give the electromagnetic torque that's why it is the electromagnetic torque so then the gross mechanical torque will be converted into by multiplying with the factor 1 minus s into p air gap power there is a relation between the gross mechanical power developed and the air gap power this is the relation and what is the omega r we should convert into the generally the omega r in radian per seconds so we can convert into the rotation per minute that is 2 pi nr by 60 2 pi nr by 60 so we can write like this the 1 minus s into air gap power by 2 pi nr 2 pi nr into 60 2 pi nr into 60 so we can modify the we can modify it like this you know the relation between the nr and ns that is the 1 minus s so just substitute this substitute this value we will get so in place of the 1 minus s i am substituting the nr by the ns and this is the air gap power and 2 pi nr into 60 so therefore this rotor speed will be cancelled the remaining torque the remaining torque equal like this that is 60 into air gap power pi 2 pi ns 2 pi ns 
so this is the air gap torque or electromagnetic torque developed in the air gap of the induction motor that is 60 into air gap power into 2 pi ns 2 pi ns just observe here here the electromagnetic torque is proportional to the the what is air gap power generally air gap power or rotor input both are same it is proportional to the rotor input this is the general thing and this torque is inversely proportional to the synchronous speed this is inversely proportional to synchronous speed so we can get the two things the one thing is the torque is proportional to the rotor input or the air gap power look at here and torque is inversely proportional to the speed so by observing the this we can get we can give some definitions what are those look at here here the definition is here just look at the definition the torque developed by the induction motor is directly proportional to the rotor input so look at here torque developed is directly proportional to the air gap power nothing but the rotor input at synchronous speed yes if we are using the synchronous speed we will get this yes therefore the rotor input of induction motor at synchronous speed is the torque developed in synchronous what so we can give some name it that is therefore the rotor input of induction motor so we have some induction motor this is the rotor we are giving some input yes we are giving some input at which speed the speed and should be at synchronous speed only e is torque developed e is known as the the torque is called as the synchronous what simply understand the rotor input of the induction motor at synchronous speed is known as the synchronous watt okay next we can define the synchronous watt also how it defines the motor is said to be have developed one synchronous watt the motor is has said to be developed the one synchronous watt torque if one watt of power transferred from stator to rotor at synchronous speed this is also same thing so we have a rotor is there so it will be developed some torque the torque we can call as one synchronous watt when it is called the air gap power is must and should be one watt one watt of power is supplied and at synchronous speed then the torque is called one synchronous watt a simple thing a simple thing that is one watt of air gap power is applied to the rotor at synchronous speed the torque developed is known as the one synchronous watt so this is the definition of the synchronous watt and we can modify the torque equation also like this generally you know the rotor current value the rotor current i2 equal to rotor developed emf s yes, e2 not by z2 okay and here you know what is the value of the z2 z2 rotor impedance that is r2 square plus s x2 not square s x2 not square okay so by just substitute all these values and you know the torque equation is you know the torque equation that is 60 air gap power by 2 pi ns so the torque equation is like this here the torque equation equal to 60 into air gap power by 2 pi ns so generally when we are discussing the as uh, uh, induction motor parameters that time we draw the equivalent circuit of equivalent circuit diagram of the rotor that time air gap power you know that 3 i2 square r2 by s so just substitute it then we will get torque equal to 60 into 3 i2 square r2 by s by r2 by s by 
This is the 2 pi ns. 2 pi ns. Just you know the values of i2 value here. Okay. And just substitute the i2 value here. Then we will get the torque equal to 16 to 3. We will get the 1 it. And this is 2 pi ns. And what is i2 is there? i2 i2 value here the here s e2 naught square by what is z2 z2 is you know the z2 value substitute the z2 value under root of r2 square plus x2 naught square square into x2 naught square the remaining is the r2 by s yes. remaining is the r2 by s so by using this we can write the approximate torque equation is like this so here just 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 extend this we will have s, s square and we will have e to naught square here yes one time here yes one time will be cancelled from that finally we will write the approximate torque equation the approximate torque equation value is like this that is the torque equal to 180 yes e2 naught square into r2 by 2 pi ns and the remaining is the under root of r2 square plus s x2 naught square s x to naught square this is the final approximate torque equation of the three phase induction motor three phase induction motor so here just observe the things the approximate final approximate torque equation is the final approximate torque equation is depends on slip and e2 and resistor resistance of the rotor and the synchronous speed and resistance and inductance okay so this is about the approximate torque equation of the three phase induction motor i hope all of you understand this session thank you